so a bitch is bald now as you guys can tell I did the ball cap method because I honestly like going to sleep with this on because like it just makes sure my hair doesn't stay frizzy it keeps my braids locked and tight the wig that I'm going to be finessing onto this head right here today is from hair VV I'm gonna show you guys the wig that they have sent me because honestly this is like one of my favorite companies now and honestly I'm gonna start actually purchasing my units from hair VV because of what they offer you guys are probably like what the fuck is so special about their wigs like um what makes you want to do this wig I'm gonna be going over the specs and what they provide and show you guys the wig itself right about now so uh, let's just get into the next clip so what makes this wig so special and the reason I want to talk about it and you know um the reason I'm going to be switching to this company right here you can wear this hair out of the box like straight out the box obviously I straightened my unit today because like obviously I like my straight hair and I wanted a middle part but with the way the wig is constructed they do have it to where you don't even need a wig cap like I don't even need this on my head all I need is my cornrows I went with was the Lily Ann luxury long ombre wig now this is just an ombre wig that goes from you know a number four I suppose to you know a 1b but it does have little highlights as you can see it's not a choppy uh, you know dye job you know when companies send you like an ombre wig and it literally looks like they like dip dyed it and like dipped like three different colors in there like no this is blended to perfection like as y'all can see there's highlights running through the top of the wig up here I did go with this wig because I wanted a black unit once again but you guys know I love my light hair colors and I had to go with with another brown one this is more of a toned down dark wig it has a little bit of color but it's not like super super blonde if you guys know what I mean this is a lace front unit so you're getting all tracks in the back and then you get you know a little 4x4 four four or whatever I don't know the measurement you guys see the tracks in the back it obviously comes with an adjustable strap it says hair VV and I love that it is not one that will get worn tore you can actually have different levels so there's a small medium and large and that's always good but you know when you get your wigs and you guys have regular lace and it's just you know something cute something slight you still gotta pluck the lace and make sure you do all this extra stuff melt this like I did with the construction of their wigs they do already have this silk little base lining around the whole part of the wig as you can see the real lace is right here and then the silk part starts right here now I'm gonna get real close to show you guys the texture of this little silk thing now it is kind of like a, a stretchy material now this isn't gonna rip like a normal wig cap because it is already sewed onto here and it is a stronger material than you know a normal wig cap basically what this does it already adds the illusion of a fake scalp method so you can part it anywhere and already basically have a nice little scalp coming on like look at that part and it's mad far back now I'm gonna put this wig on and show y'all how it looks only real issue I have with this wig is the um these things right here now I typically love these and I do love the ones that they provided for me but since you have this little black piece and basically it's just a clip on like a bra strap it does make the sides of your temple look a little bit bulky because this is literally right here and I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about once I put this wig on that is just something to be mindful and you can always take these off and just install it yourself you really got an issue with it but um yeah that's the only downfall I have to this wig the wig is popped on and as you guys can see look at this little middle part it literally goes all the way back to here I didn't have to pre-pluck I didn't have to pre-bleach I didn't have to do anything to this wig y'all thought that this was cute like the whole you know illusion of what it gave me look when I part this bitch like hold on let me make sure I get a good part you know I'm doing a sloppy part but that just makes it all the better so y'all know the tea look at that boom and then hold on, let's do another one. Let's do another one. Hold on. Boom. Like when I tell you this wig is pre-plucked everywhere, bitch. As you guys can see, the sides of the wig is kind of like pushed out. Now it probably looks like normal for y'all. But like for me, I can tell that like it's not like you know flat how I want it like this that could all be fixed with a little bit of you know product I can you know flatten the hair to make it go down more but uh, yeah I don't know I should have just got a bigger side I do need to install my hair but I didn't want to you know fully glue on my thing because I glued on my wig cap but I'm not trying to glue on this hair because I don't want it on my neck all motherfucking day okay because that's just no me gusta so what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be finessing my wig hair with some of this which you guys are probably like oh my gosh she's gonna glue her hair no I'm not I'm just gonna do my baby hair Trust me. Lock them in tack so my wig don't come off. And we gonna be on point. And I'm gonna just touch it up a little bit. Basically, all I'm going to do is I'm going to, you know, pull down some of the little hair. And I don't want to cut the baby hairs on this wig since it is a straight wig. I kind of just want to, you know, like, have the baby hairs fall into the wig. Thank you. 
Now when it comes to my baby hairs, like with straight hair, you kind of got to like finesse them into the hairline because like I just tried doing like a swoop method on this side and it's no me gusta. Like I put too much hair so you guys got to like really finesse it in there. Really got to brush the hair into the hair if you guys know what I mean and it's fucking hard so sorry if I'm like focused. It's just that like I'm trying to like finesse this shit and then you got to shut the <gasps> fuck up. He needs some milk. I know you guys just see me spray that in my eye and that was not fake. It literally went in my eye. I thought it was my baby hairs because I only have this little mirror in front of me so I couldn't see what I was doing. Wow, um, y'all peep that real quick. Oh, see, no, that baby hair, we don't need you to mess up. Stay there, stay fucking put. Where's my fucking spray? Okay, I'm gonna fucking put this like over my face because that shit hurt it. Okay, bitch. Now this shit looks hella funky and junky right now, but that's cause we need to blend her and put her together. It looks way more realistic now, but like obviously it came realistic. Now I'm honestly satisfied with what the wig had gave me before, you know, I installed it, but I honestly wanted to make it look, you know, a little bit more done up, a little bit more extravaganza. So I decided to, you know, slick the baby hairs down, give me a little pulled back moment because I do love when girls, you know, have that little, <sighs> Ooh, baby hairs and they can flip their hair like it's so fucking pretty so uh yeah that's what i did it is a little fall in moment now this side i need to finesse so i'm gonna do that off camera because y'all see y'all see y'all see okay that's all i gotta say is y'all see but once you are complete with the um baby hair process you obviously gotta wrap it up leave it on for five minutes with a blow dryer over it because you know you don't want that shit you know getting tacky and you sliding off and shit make sure this is set and dry before you do do any styles and you can still put a half up half down with this method now all you need like i said is this got to be sprayed like you can slick down your edges and your hair would stay put like forever okay so be mindful be gracious and you don't really have to you know install the whole wig you know do the whole three layers of glue first and all that stuff this is a much more simpler way to you know finesse the system and get the same look let me finish my baby hairs and i'll get right back with you guys once i'm done with my complete look i do need to pop on my eyelashes in order so i'm finally done with the baby hairs i did both sides complete but now that we got that all done i'm going to be going in with my little hot comb now this is just a hot comb that you literally put on the stove now i wanted a electric one because I don't know the heat temperatures and you can burn your lace because that's what I did with some of my wig. Like I said, it does have this little protruding thing going on which is from that little clip thing that they have. So I'm just gonna try and get the hair as flat as possible with this hot comb just so I can reduce that little bumpage. Now this is not necessary at all. Like if you guys like volume, by all means do so and wear your hair like that. But um, this is just something I do when I do have my straight hair because it does give me that, you know, flatter look. All right, so I just finished hot combing it down and as you guys can see it has gone away the bump is less you know out more now it's probably just because of the volume of the hair but that's no complaints here because that means there's a lot of hair up in this wig so <laughs> I'm honestly living for this dark middle part moment now as you guys can see this color is barely noticeable like I said that's what I like about it because it is still a black wig, but it has that little tint to it. Now the last thing I'm gonna be doing before I talk about the wig a little bit more before I go, I'm going to be spraying this got to be spray all throughout the top of the wig. Flyaways, like they're little short flyaways, they start like right here. And I do have wig tamer, but I do want an extra hold and I want it to stay for the day. So I want those to stay flat down. I'm just going to, you know, lightly spray, don't even like, get too close because then you're gonna wet your hair too much and I'm gonna go again with the hot comb it isn't hot anymore but I do just want to you know make sure it's all flat and all these little flyaways are gone even in the back girl because no motherfucking ma'am. I do want to get into the exact specs of the wig that I have on because I know you guys are going to be like, what length do you have? What all that stuff that you have? To give you guys a little general idea of how long the wig actually is, I am 5'6". So if you're a little bit taller, it might run a little bit shorter on you. And if you're shorter than me, it's going to be running longer on you. So you guys definitely don't need to be paying all that money to get like a 30 inch if you're shorter because then it's just going to fall to your motherfucking ankles and you're going to be shit, guys. It's a lace front unit. So you are only getting a parting space all the way 
sprayed to right here around which is a lot of parting sprays so this wig is pretty full it is a 180 percent density so if you guys are into scoping out the densities the lower it is the thinner hair you're gonna have and then the higher it is um obviously the more hair you're gonna get and i'm not even complaining on the thickness of this hair because y'all y'all the part about their brand, you probably are going to be like, oh my god, do I have to pay more for the fake scalp method and all that stuff? Because it does come with that, like I said. The majority of their wigs on their website do come with that. You just have to click the button that says fake scalp on there. They do send out wigs that don't have, you know, the fake scalp method. You literally have to click the button when you're ordering, so make sure you do that. Now, with all that being said and discussed, with it being pre-plugged, pre-bleached, it has length, it has thickness, it has color. Like, it is custom wig, basically, like you're ordering a custom wig. The price of the wig that I have exactly on my head is only $338 now. I don't know about you, but that is cheap as fuck for a custom colored wig. And if you check out their website, they have some bomb ass wigs. Like this one is not my first pick, but definitely, shoot, I'm going back to check me out some mo because they have this blonde one with these ashy fucking highlights in it. It is so pretty. So I'm definitely going to be shopping there again, but I want you guys to check the links down below if you guys do want to shop there yourself. I have the link to the exact same wig that is on my head down there, as well as a link to their website. I would definitely recommend this to anybody that is starting off with wigs or quite Quite frankly anybody in general or if you're just too lazy to you know finesse the system and you know do all that because they do come with everything that you need and honestly all you really need to do is buy the wig get it shipped to you and put it on and you'll be good to go I don't know honestly this is one of my favorite wigs to date that I do have construction wise I would have obviously liked if it was you know a lighter color wig but this is like my favorite black wig of all time now because like the cap construction and it has a little bit of brown at the end so it's giving me my little brown fantasy if you guys did enjoy this video please smash that thumbs up button because it truly does help comment down below if you guys like this style on me or if you guys were shook by the lace and the construction of this wig because i know it was different than the other hair videos that i do do on my channel because of you know the construction i know i said in my last video that i'm going to be doing post notification shout outs which i am going to be doing so if you guys do want a post notification shout out from me um you guys obviously have to be subscribed and you guys have to comment on my videos frequently and all that stuff but when you guys do comment you just have to make sure you guys instagram is on that comment as well like you guys can comment you know what whatever you guys want about the video but I'm not going to be responding or sharing people that just put their at name so make sure to comment on the videos as well with your Instagram because I'm going to be shouting out your guys Instagram on here so yeah if you guys want one stay tuned and um I'll be watching y'all without further ado I love you guys with all my heart I hope you enjoyed this video and you guys have a great rest of your day or night wherever you guys are I love you with all my heart peace love and dildos bye guys <laughs>